kind of the last. Well, now it's going to be two weeks in a row. I feel a little bit like Norman Greenbaum. Oh, well, you're going to take us up to the spirit in the sky. That is what I have done okay. right there. This is why we are brothers, and this is why. <laughs> Not too much, because then we have to pay for it. We can only do like 20 seconds. Okay. All right, that's enough. No more. <laughs> so we have another spirit this week. We have gone, uh, we went from a slightly barrel-rested gin, which had a touch of bourbon, to the full hand of bourbon. I don't know. That's all I've <laughs> The got. full, yes. The full bourbon, Monty. I don't know. We have a new bourbon for this Give It a Shot. I am Andrew. And I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is Angel's Envy Bourbon. Uh, obviously out of Kentucky. Well, not obviously, but is out of Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, and it is a uh, bourbon whiskey finished in port wine barrels. That is honestly uh, what intrigued me the most. Okay. I saw this is getting some pretty high reviews and pretty good scores. Um, and uh, like I said, the, the port the port finishing is what kind of piqued my interest. And I had uh, still had a gift card hanging around to Total Wine. So I said... It always helps. Yeah, that always helps when it's like, hey, I'm going to spend $45 on a bourbon. Oh, okay. So I was, that was my next question. <laughs> so $45? See, see how I worked that into the story? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like, I mean, not too bad. But I was at the same time, usually when I take a leap of faith... There starts to be a borderline, a, a dollar barrier. Right. And I was like, ah, I got to get Because there are that. certain bourbons that we like that are less than that. Yeah, I mean, Bullet. Yes. Bullet Rye. Yes. Basil Hayden's is in the. Yeah, uh, I have an Elijah uh, Craig. I haven't tried that yet either. I still have to bring that over. You have an Elijah Craig? I do have oh, an Elijah Craig, yeah. yeah. That's always uh, can, can be good. Uh, I mean, even the. Uh, um, uh, Gosh, I can't think of it right now. The Blanton's, which is fantastic. That's that's right about depending that. Depending on where you get yeah. it, like I, I think when I bought my bottle, they had it at Costco. It was under forty, it was right? Like Thirty seven, which is a good deal for that bourbon. So true. There are plenty of things in that slightly lower price range. This one's just a touch higher. So we'll see if if the port smooths out smooths out that pricing. Okay, Make we'll find out. Feel better about it. You went dumb in Greenbaum. That's a spirit in the sky. And I know. It was pretty prepare good. Prepare yourself it was a deep and cut. never sinner. And <laughs> it was pretty deep. Cut, <laughs> you got a friend in Jesus, I and know, you went see? all you went all exactly. that way. Wow. All right. Well, that's probably all the things you think about if you finish this entire bottle. <laughs> yes. You. Yeah. You're pra- you're praying. <laughs> well, and look what's even on the back. Angels and angels. angels of course. I tied course. it all together. I have right. done it. And as you can see, I have not had a pinch out of this bottle. Wow. And that's, Unlike the uh, last one where it was almost gone. You had pinched it. You had pinched it quite a bit. <laughs> I had pinched it quite a bit. You pinched uh, it. This one I have not, uh, there has been no touching. No all. pinching. No. There's no all. invasive touching whatsoever. Exactly. Jerry from Subway has not been anywhere near this bourbon. Uh, Look what I did there. Why? Why? No idea. No, not you. Why? Oh. Okay. Him, why? Okay. Come yeah. on. I don't know. What's, what's going on? What is wrong with the world What's today? Tell us in the comments. No, I Kevin don't. from don't. the just stop. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. Kevin from the league. I know. What is going on? Why? Okay. It's got a little red in there, a little reddish uh, tinge amongst amongst the yellow. Like I said, it's getting toward that. Okay. Initially, when I looked at when I was starting to bring it up, I was like, oh, kind of chardonnay. I was like, no, that's darker than that. Like, yeah, definitely kinda, darker than that. It's it's getting into that. Like I said, it's, it's getting into that copper yellow territory, something up yeah. the end of the two. Yeah. But, uh. Ooh. Yeah, actually, I almost, I almost had to make that noise myself. <laughs> <laughs> I went Al Pacino on here for a second. Hoo! <laughs> went an Academy Award for doing an impression of Foghorn Leghorn. Hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Is that an Andrew original? Or have you heard no, that? No, I wish it was. Okay, it's not. It's from a comic relief. From uh, okay, I can't remember the. Comedian, I thought maybe that was Family no, Guy or something. No, it's from a comic <laughs> relief from way back in the day. There's so many great pop references in Family Guy. It's sick. I know. Well, there's mean? definitely an extra layer um, there, which obviously there should be. Y- you would hope so. Yeah, and it's a. It's yeah. There's more. There's, a, there's like a fruit, but not yeah. fruity, but a, a, a mild fruit note. Yeah, there's. A, I get a little nutty in there too. Yeah, there's that, that too. Know, you know, uh, I get a little bit of nutty along with, you know, the classic <laughs> vanilla and oak and all those kinds of things. <laughs> I almost said, oh, you know, like port. <laughs> uh, hello, <laughs> that's what this is. Okay, because uh, uh, because fruit and nut, you do think of like yeah. tawnies and tawny uh, and rubies right. and yeah. <laughs> 
It doesn't say what kind of port uh, wine barrel, so no, we actually honestly don't know. <laughs> hey, it's kind of like port. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Yeah, where have okay, I? Okay, I don't know. I, I really like the aroma, though. Yeah, initially yeah. on the sniff, I almost took a little too much, and it's yeah. it's, it's fairly strong. There's some good yeah. alcohol heat vapors going on there. Even there's still that but. little kiss of vanilla. So all those things, nuts, vanilla, fruit. That's a that's a nice combo to to find in there. Yeah. So I hope we find it in the taste. Is it possible that I get both kinds of port in there? <laughs> On the first, on the beginning of my sip, I immediately thought, "Okay, this is more of a ruby port. I'm getting a little more fruit. I'm getting some other, th you know, along with the bourbon and some, a little char, that kind of thing." And then as it kind of went back over my palate and settled down, I was like, "Well, no, I'm getting a little nutty. I'm getting a little, almost like a hazelnut, or something like that in there, along with these other, like I said, these other things. It's a little smokiness in there." And I was like, "Can it be both?" Is it just me? Is, is it is it actually just the one and the other thing is just naturally from the other wood that they use from the oak barrel? You know, so I get more of the. I know what you're saying. I get more of the uh, ruby qualities from it, the fruit part. But um, it's still a nice blend. It's a nice balance. It's a really That's good. good balance. Yeah. That is really tasty. It's from what I got in the nose. And, I, and, you know, we just opened it, so there's going to be some people, you know, you should pour some right. out, let it stay open. You know, so right. there's other, you know, so it's a little stronger, maybe a little more potent than it could be. But from the nose, I thought it was going to be a lot stronger, but that was super smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Um, I was able to, you know, really let it linger on the palate, let it, you know, kind of expand, express itself. I was... <laughs> like linger, I was going to go cranberries. Express yourself, and I'm thinking Madonna. Uh, yeah, it's very, you it's go for very a musical. Test, yeah, you put your bourbon to the test. Did you have to let it linger? <laughs> well, of course I had to let it linger. You have to let it linger. There you mm -hmm. go. But yeah, so I pour me another finger. <laughs> you have to let it linger. That's really funny. Czak <laughs> used to sing. Did you have to use your finger? <laughs> so uh, anyway, so that was. So yeah, so yeah. Of course, so I'm thinking. <laughs> Can you pour me two fingers <laughs> of the angels and me? Says like, finger. You know, give me a finger there for. I always think of the. Was it, I think it's either the Bob Hope Ruby Pale Face or Son of the Pale Face. Give me four fingers of the red eye. The thumb too. And he like, pours it <laughs> like you know, like you want this. That's like how much right. bourbon you want. Like, right. He's like, yeah, the thumb. Too. And he like grabs his hand and like pours more in there. I, yeah, I that's think good. it's, it's yeah, smooth. I think that's really good. It's really smooth uh, from the nose. I thought it was gonna be way stronger than that, but I was able to let it hang out. Body wise, it's very smooth too. It's a very got a nice sort of oily, creamy sort of texture. It's just kind of coats your tongue and sits there very nicely. It probably that's is good. more the, uh, on the second sip too, the second and third. It is more the the ruby, the fruit. That comes through right. more, but still balanced blend nicely with but the wood and the bourbon. The, and yeah, yeah, I still get a little bit of nut. Like, I said, but again, that could be something else. Too. I wonder how long it's aged in really the nice bourbon. Balance. Oh, it's finished. It's finished. So it's finished. So it probably sits lo obviously longer in the actual bourbon barrels. Yes, and then transfer it, and they finish it, and that. But that's so. That's probably what smooths it out. It does not say uncork. Oh, I could have written when I uncorked this, which is today. Uh. Huh. It does not. It does not say. I was kind of hoping it would say something on there. I don't know how long finishing is. If if anyone knows out there, yeah, please let us know at aboutbeverages.com or like I said, post a comment at uh, the YouTube channel here and let us know. I don't know if it's you know obviously it could be different depending on what flavor profile they're looking for. But right. maybe it's like in general, if you're finishing something, it's six months or three months or something because like, you're just looking for a hint of something. Right. But that really comes through nicely. I, I like that a lot. I'm. Pretty happy with that purchase. Yeah, that's a good purchase. But yeah, very, very nice. Very a smooth. gift card well spent. It was. It was a very good gift card. That's what I love about the gift card is sometimes you kind of go out of the box on things maybe you normally wouldn't buy for yourself. But of course. Like uh, especially. Yeah. But then it empties. That's the only thing. And it's gone. Depressing part. Yeah. yeah. It's gone. But not yet. That's right. Not for a while, hopefully. <laughs> We need to thank uh, our friend uh, Dave in Las Vegas uh, for the new bumper music that we've got. Yes. Uh, it wasn't specifically written for us, so it can't I win. I was told that he wrote, went into a studio no. and said, I was inspired by your, your talking, I had your hoped rambling. that might happen. I had hoped that one day he just might be at home jamming and just come up with something, but he's a busy man. I he's a, he has four kids. 
Terrible. And uh, you know he's he works. And they play and in the band with him. Oh, that would be is great. this correct? That, they, and they have a bus. They have a multicolored. Bus? Wait a And minute. they're called the Partridge Family. Wait. No. They're called the no. Dave Quad. The trio. Dave Trio. Yeah. The Dave. Yeah. No. The Dave. Is any of that true? No. None of that's true. Oh, that's a real. Uh, no. Absolutely. None of that's true. I had thought he might just, you know, make some music and for us. But even better. He he went back into his archives, oh, and he like found it. something that he liked. Um, he had you know been thinking about it. We've been talking with him about this probably for at, at least a year, maybe even over a year. It's been a while. We we do things slowly here. We're and uh, yeah, and uh, you know we uh, he and he one day he texted us and said, "Hey, this is a song you should consider." And actually, it was funny. I was at home getting ready for work. You were at work. Dave works from home, so he's probably working. So we but we've got Whoa. this furious text all work chain. Going going and uh and you know but within a matter of an hour or so all of a sudden andrew was working on putting things together and uh and editing uh, you know getting a, a thoughts uh in his mind for an edit for uh some new bumper music which is what we were looking for because we, we would love to include friends of the show or people who listen to us if you had you know if you have some music that you have send it to us we've we've asked for that on numerous occasions yeah. uh but uh you know so <laughs> dave finally forced someone at gunpoint yeah. to take us up on it so uh so <laughs> dave in las vegas uh, came up with something that he uh, and his band actually recorded in uh, the mid to late 90s. And uh, so we've edited from that. And um, yeah, you we've can, taken a piece of it. We actually yeah, a have piece a, of it. I do have the, the full music. He has a website, which we'd be more than happy. We can we'll put a link. link. Yeah, we'll put a link um, to that. And like I said, if people are interested in that uh, music or even uh, are interested by that, uh, we may be uh, doing a little bit of a giveaway here at some point. We're good. Yeah, uh, we're still working on those. Once they, so once again, look for that in about a year. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, kidding. Exactly. Hopefully <laughs> sooner than that. But at least the link will be up, and you can go to his uh, his th- their site. He had a uh, his he and his band um, p- did some music. Like I said, uh, well for quite a long time, they were based out of uh, the southern California area, uh, and and did some good stuff and there are links to that so you can go ahead and listen to uh, his music and we certainly appreciate his Very suggestion so. and uh, and and like and we've as we've always said it's about the community it's about the people and this is a person that we actually know who's who uh, is a musician and a talented musician at that and uh, we are incorporating that into our show and uh, we are very very happy to have that happen so thank you very much Dave once again we uh, we're we're indebted to you for that yes so. thank you very much and actually the other question is so on that site with his music does he have any of the clips when he used to do uh I- announcing of any other sort is there any kind of uh, <laughs> i don't think he no because no, it's more band related but okay. yeah little secret yes uh, well it's not a secret dave uh, actually was the uh Padres, the San Diego Padres baseball team. He was their PA announcer, uh, I believe, for a couple of years, right around 2000 to 2001, 2002. He did that uh, for a couple of years. He actually took my wife and I on the field, uh, got us on the field, got us into the dugout. It was a really cool experience. And uh, uh, and yeah, he just he just went to a tryout. And you know there was an open call, and and he made it down. He kept making it, kept making it, kept making it, and finally he was he was chosen. That's really cool. So yeah, so he was there, uh, the San Diego Padres PA announcer for a couple of years, which uh, I know didn't pay him a lot financial, you know, dollar wise, but he really uh, it paid it, him in joy. When, when when he tells the yeah. stories, I I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of pride and a lot of a lot of good memories there. So uh, so yeah, that was fun. We uh, and, and like I said, my wife and I certainly appreciate him for sharing that. Uh, that with us that was a, that was a lot of fun so that's very cool <laughs> yes all right now now whether we like it or not you should give it a shot <laughs> <laughs> 